Welcome back to The Lawn Hustle, season number three, episode number 30. I want to start by saying thank you for your support. I appreciate you listening. I've recently found out there's five million podcasts. You can find a podcast related to almost any subject. Out of the five million, 44% of those podcasts have less than three episodes. 720,000 have more than 10 episodes. So we have beat the odds. And I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support. I know at times it might not be easy for you to listen to this raspy voice. But I explained in episode number one, and if you have not listened to that episode, please go back and listen to it. I explained to you how cancer took half of my voice box. But I refuse to let cancer define me. I am better than that. It changed me, but it did not defeat me. It changed me, but it did not destroy me. So here we are at episode number 30. In today's episode, we want to dive into a subject, pursue excellence. No matter if you are a seasoned veteran or you are just getting started in the green industry, this podcast today is for you. Because I want to challenge you no matter what the task is or what the job is, I want to challenge you to pursue a spirit of excellence in everything that you go to do. I am your host, Andy Wilson. I own and operate professional lawn maintenance in Newcastle, Indiana. Let's start this podcast by defining what we mean by a spirit of excellence. Excellence is not just about Achieving perfection. It's about consistently striving to be the best version of yourself in everything that you do, not just work related, but in your personal life, in your family life, in every thing you go to do, pursue excellence. Pursuing excellence is a mindset that prioritizes quality. I see too many people in the green industry 
getting caught up in how many properties do you service? How many clients do you have? And that really is irrelevant if you are not pursuing excellence in everything you do. If you do not focus on quality, quantity doesn't matter. Let me say that again. If you do not focus and prioritize quality, quantity doesn't matter. Pursuing excellence is a mindset that prioritizes diligence and continuous improvement. You might be good. You might even be great in your industry. But there is always room for improvement. When you stop trying to be better today than you were yesterday, And you don't try to be better tomorrow than you were today. When that effort ceases, the downward spiral begins. I want to be better today than I was yesterday. And tomorrow, I want to be better than what I was today. I think I'm pretty good at what we do, but I'm not the best yet. I'm not the best version of me yet. Although we strive every day to be better, to offer quality work, not just numbers. To take care of this property today better than I did last week. To make the stripes look better today than they did last week. To make the edge look crisp today more than it did last week. To trim the hedges better this time than I did last time. It should be a personal goal of everyone to do better today than you did the other day. Excellence often is confused with success. But they're not the same. Success is the outcome. Excellence is an attitude and a commitment to the process. If you want to be successful, then you have to commit to the process of gaining success. It's an attitude. I've heard it said before, attitude determines your altitude.
I have seen people struggle in owning and operating a business, not because they weren't talented, not because they weren't business savvy, but because they had a terrible attitude. And you cannot rise any higher than your attitude. Excellence and pursuing excellence is an attitude. Success is the outcome. When you adopt a spirit of excellence, success will become a natural byproduct. When you pursue quality, when you pursue diligence, when you make up your mind to be better today than you were yesterday, success will be a byproduct of your pursuit. So why should you pursue excellence? Number one, when you pursue excellence, it gives you personal fulfillment. When you know you've done your best, there's a deep sense of satisfaction and a deep sense of pride. When you pursue excellence, it gives you professional growth because excellence attracts opportunity. Let me say that again. Excellence attracts opportunities. You see people that are being successful and it would be easy to get caught up when the thinking must be nice, must be nice to be an influencer, must be nice to have that notoriety. You weren't there when they were in the pursuit of excellence. And because of the late hours and the early mornings, and they're working seven days a week and missing dinners at, in the evening with their family, coming home exhausted just to spend hours trying to catch up on the paperwork and the estimates. You weren't there when they were in the pursuit of excellence. All you see now is the success. So I applaud them. Job well done. When you pursue excellence, it makes an impact on others. You will inspire those around you. And you will foster a culture of high standards and mutual respect. Let's break down the principles that underpin the spirit of excellence. Excellence lies in the small things. 
I was talking to my employees just today. August the 3rd, we were servicing a church property. And I told them, it's the small things. It's the little things. It's the little extra that distinguishes who we are. It's the little extra paying attention to detail that sets us apart from competitors. It's the small things that make a big difference. Consistency is a principle for pursuing excellence. It's about maintaining high standards day in and day out, not when it's convenient. Consistently getting up and going to work, even when you don't feel like it. I couldn't tell you the times that I've gotten up and did not feel well. But I went to work. Because I want to find success. And I will never find it if I'm not pursuing excellence every day. Consistency. The last thing I want to be is consistently inconsistent. I hope you heard that. But I want to be consistent in my consistence. Yeah. Little play on words. Another principle that underpins the spirit of excellence, continuous learning. It's an ongoing process. Stay curious. Stay committed to learning. Seek new skills. Seek more knowledge. Read books. Listen to podcasts. Seek new experiences. Try something different. Don't get stuck in a rut. There's something that I can learn every day. I love cutting grass. I love sticking my AirPods on, tuning into a podcast, and I don't mind telling you who I listen to. I listen to Paul Jamison, the Green Industry Podcast. I listen to the Lawn Care Rookie. I listen to the Million Dollar Landscaper. I listen to Profits with Paycheck. I listen to On the Attack with Mac. I listen to Instagram live show with Still Cuts the Best and Max Landscaping. I watch Brian Fullerton's YouTube and Instagram. I listen to his podcast. I listen to Jeremiah Jennings' podcast. Why? 
Because there's something that these men can impart to me to make me better, to make me pursue excellence. Because we want that end result. We want the success. But a lot of times we don't want the process. And you can't have long-term success if you skip the process. But when you go through the process, you go through the struggles, you get up and you go when you don't want to or when you don't feel like it. And you continuously strive to be better than you were yesterday. And tomorrow, you're going to try to be better than you were today. It underpins that spirit of excellence. Integrity is another principle. Because excellence is rooted deep in integrity. It's about doing the right thing, even when no one's watching. That builds trust and credibility. So what is the definition of integrity? We just said it. Doing the right thing, even when nobody's watching. When you're by yourself, when you're in your truck alone, or you're on the job site alone, Always doing the right thing. Let me tell you this. If you are operating a business without integrity, I hope you go out of business. Be honest. Be truthful. Be a person of integrity and do right when nobody's watching, because it's always right to do right. Resilience is another principle to excellence. Pursuing excellence means when you face challenges and you face setbacks, You never give up. It's about bouncing back. It's about learning from failures. It's about continuously striving to improve. Failures are not fatal and they are not final. But failures are a stepping stone for success. It's part of that process. Because you do and I do, face failures, setbacks, disappointments, disillusionments, discouragements. But I'm resilient. Micah 7 and 8 in Scripture says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. Not if I fall, but when I fall, I shall arise. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to brush myself off, and I'm going to stay in the fight. I want to be resilient. Now that we understand the principles, we want to talk about the practical steps that you take to cultivate 
a spirit of excellence. And we've heard a lot of talked about goals, but I challenge you to set goals. Define what excellence looks like for you. It might not look like that for me. We live in different parts of the world, different states, different economic situations, different social situations. So what looks like success to you might not be success for me. And what it is for me might not be what it is to you. So you set your goal. You prioritize your task. Focus on what matters most. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Seek feedback. Ask some of your colleagues to critique your work. Get some input. Get some feedback. Ask a mentor to hold you accountable. Constructive criticism is invaluable for growth. Now, I'm not talking about just being critical of somebody. You can say the same thing with the wrong spirit and destroy somebody. Or you can say it with the right spirit and encourage somebody. Reflect and improve. Look at your performance. Identify areas where you can improve. And create a plan to improve. Remember the journey to excellence is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You won't get there overnight. It's about making small, consistent improvements every day. Start with that one area of your work. Apply the principles that you have discussed and that you have researched. Put them into action and then watch it transform your life. When I started my podcast, I said I want it to be fun, I want it to be entertaining, and I want it to be educational. I hope you have gained something from listening to this podcast. Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcast and a well-worded review. Leave us a rating on Spotify. Listen to us on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube. I appreciate you and I thank you for listening. Now pursue excellence. Until we talk again, I wish you nothing but success.